Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I just want to kind of recap um, of last night. I don't normally make these kind of videos, but last night I went and saw Ashley McBride in concert, as you guys can see on my shirt. Um, literally the best experience of my entire life, and I wanted to make a video to kind of remember it and kind of tell the story of it while it's still very fresh. It was less than 24 hours ago. Um, I still got a little bit of that concert adrenaline, that concert high in me. And I just want to talk and tell you guys the story of what happened last night and how incredible it was because I just love her. Also, just look at her logo. Like, it's incredible. I love her so freaking much. This is actually not the shirt that I wanted. I wanted the Girl Going Nowhere shirt. Um, and I was actually, before the concert, I was actually going to order it and wear it there. But I was going to, like, kind of recreate it. And instead of putting Girl Going Nowhere, I was going to cross out the Nowhere. And I was going to put Girl Going to see Ashley McBride. And I thought that was, like, a cool little... I don't know. That's what I was going to do. I just didn't have time to do it. Um, because... I just have been so freaking busy lately, um, and I didn't really get a chance to prepare for this. It was kind of like Christmas, New Year's, um, I worked 14 days in between, um, right after Christmas and New Year's, um, in between there, I worked 14 days straight, um, and I didn't really have time to prepare, so it's kind of like Christmas, New Year's, um, work. Uh, and then the concert just happened last night on the 11th. So, I want to tell you guys the story of it. I'm going to go ahead and get into it. But I just want to say before I get started, if you have not already ordered Ashley's debut album, I have the CD version. Looks like that. And I also have the um, iTunes version because I bought both. And I also have her other album that was put out a couple years before this one. Um, which is called Jalopies and um, Expensive Guitars, and it's got some really good songs on it, too. I actually think it's an EP, but I have that online, too. I don't know if they ever made physical copies of it. I've never found one. Otherwise, I'd own that one, too, but I have a physical copy and an online copy. So, um, yeah, go check out her album, and also go check out D. White, and I'm about to tell you why. So, here's my ticket. If you guys can see, which it's probably not going to focus on, but the original date on this ticket was Friday, September 14th of 2018. Um, and the reason why the concert was actually last night, January 11th, 2019, is because back in September when the concert was originally scheduled, um, there was a big hurricane that hit. I'm sure you guys heard about it everywhere. And so they rescheduled it to January to last night. So that's the whole story, first of all. My stepbrother was supposed to go with me, and he didn't end up getting to go, so my mom went with me instead. I looked all over. All my friends couldn't go. They had to either work or had classes or had other things to do. Um, so my mom ended up going with me. And it was, first of all, at the coolest venue. So let me start from the beginning. So I live in West Virginia. The concert was in Lynchburg, Virginia, which is about a three-ish hour for me, two and a half, three hours. So me and my mom drove all that way. Um, we got to the venue, um, and it was a really cool venue. It was kind of like, if here was the stage, and then in front there was kind of like a little circle type area where, like, this was the standing area, and then around the standing area was a bunch of seats, kind of like a little diner seats, like the really tall bar stool seats, um, and there was tables all around this area, and then on both sides of the wall here, there was a bar on this side and a bar on this side, and then on this side, there was kind of like the exit. You came in this way, and then you walked up to the stage. It was a really, really, really cool venue. It was a bar and lounge. It was actually at phase two, um, restaurant, dining, and lounge, I think is what it's called. I don't, it's phase two, and it was a really, really cool venue. So that was the first thing I noticed about it. Um, they were serving drinks. I got a couple drinks, um, 
and my mom's really not into Ashley McBride she didn't really know who she was although now she's a fan but at the time she didn't know really who she was so she kind of sat back in the chairs and I obviously got as close up as possible because it's um, general admission so basically they have the VIPs the people that pay to get in faster they have the fast track and then they have the meet and greet people which all get to go in and pick their seats first and then after that then general admission just kind of moves in behind them so I was about in the second row um, standing in the standing area um, was really really super close which you guys will see in the pictures that I include but I stood there Doors opened at 7, show didn't start till 8. Ashley didn't even come on until like 9.30. I stood there for a long time waiting for her. And while I was standing there, I kind of made friends with another girl who was from West Virginia. And her boyfriend were there. They were there for her birthday. So we stood there and talked and kind of made a little bit of a friend. She told me that she had been in love with Ashley for a long time as well as I so we kind of bonded over that and we were freaking out together and our boyfriend kind of just thought we were crazy but I met her so that was the first really cool thing that happened then the opening band came out they are D White I don't know if it's D White band or just D White but it was D White and his band he's the lead singer and um, they were really really good but the thing that stood out to me the most is their violin player slash fiddle player whatever you want to call it um she really really stood out to me she was the only girl in a band full of guys which i can only imagine and her name is actually katie offerman which i found out later but i was really enjoying the show um katie up there again didn't know her name at the time but the, i saw this girl up there and she just had this glow about her um i am a musician myself as you guys know and I just noticed that she was just loving it. Like, she was looking out to the crowd in such admiration of, like, being on stage. And I guess maybe as a musician myself, as somebody who has been on stage myself, I, I know that feeling and I know that she was loving every bit of that. And um, it was just such a good thing to see. Like, it's so great to see musicians truly absolutely like in their element loving every piece of what they're doing um, and most musicians do that most musicians love what they do it's a very hard career but to see that be shown on stage like you can tell she was just so grateful and so happy to be up there and um, so I kept watching her I took an Instagram story of her and I also tweeted while I was there in between sets and I said um, I said I don't know who you know D White and I tagged him in it I said I don't know who D White's violin player is but she's incredible she's making my night and I said basically just get it girl especially a girl in an all-boy band <laughs> And so I wasn't expecting really anything of it. I just wanted to know who she was. And I figured someone on Twitter would know because the Twitter universe, the internet knows everything. So I, we were in between sets. They were switching. I just kept watching her and watching her and watching her um, before, while they were still playing. So I just kept watching her and watching her. And you could just tell, like, she had this smile on her face that was so genuine. And she was just incredible. So, um, then they, they got, they finished their show, they were switching sets, getting ready for Ashley to come on, so they, you know, were cleaning up all their stuff, switching sets with the whole nine yards, and my phone buzzed, and I looked down at my phone, and D. White had liked and also replied to what I tweeted, and I'll show you guys that now. So he replied and tweeted and told me who it was. So I then went and followed her while we were standing there in between sets. Um, I followed her. I was like showing my new friend that I made. I was like, look, they tweeted me. I tweeted them back. Like, I know who this girl is. And then after that, Ashley came on stage. We were jamming. It was such a good show. She waved at me when she walked out on stage. She came out from... Like, I was standing, like, right here, and she came out from this door, and she went up to the microphone, which was here, and I was, like, here, and 
she kind of like threw her hand up because I was like hardcore singing. I don't have much of a voice today. My throat is killing me because I was screaming. Me and the girl that I had been friends with were like freaking out. Um, the first thing they sung was Living Next to Leroy, which is such a good song. All of her songs are good. I don't have a single song of hers that I don't like. Like they are all fantastic and I know the words to every single one of them. But that's besides the point. But she came out. She put on a great show. Um, you know, we got to basically touch the guitar player's hand. He was, you know, going through the crowd. It was a really chill venue. And I think because Ashley's not that known yet, but she will be, um, that they were just kind of chill. It was low security. Not, you know, they were kind of walking around after the venue and everything. It was really cool. But um, Ashley put on her show, which was amazing. I was screaming and hollering, and she about made me cry a lot. She was just, again, one of those musicians that you genuinely know that they love what they're doing. The crowd was singing some of her songs back to her, and she had to kind of, like, turn away. And you could see her start to tear up, and she turned her head and, like, moved away from the crowd and, like composed herself and came back and sang the rest of the song because we were singing it back to her. I have videos of all of this that will be posted on my vlog channel probably by the time this goes up. Like, I can't even imagine. I've been on stage before, but I've always been in a cover band. I've never sang my own songs up on stage, so I can only imagine the feeling, it's going to make me tear up now, of having a whole audience of people, like a whole group of people singing your lyrics that you wrote back to you. Like, it's making me tear up because I can't imagine what that feels like. And we did it for quite a few songs, especially the ones that were really, really important to Ashley. Songs like Girl Going Nowhere, um, The Jacket, uh, Bible in a 44. Songs like that that she wrote about her dad or about her life. And like really personal songs we got to sing back to her. And it was such an incredible thing. That's one of my favorite things about a concert is seeing an artist you know, realize that they've made a difference on people when they hear their lyrics being sung back and see everyone in an audience passionately singing the lyrics that they wrote. And Ashley has just changed, like, Girl Going Nowhere, not just the song, but the entire album has changed my life. And I was just so in my element. I was so in love. I could have stayed there all night and just hung out with everybody. It was just such a good crowd, such an amazing, like, nothing, I have nothing bad to say about last night. Nothing. Um, so yeah, they put on a really good show. We were all tearing up. We were all, like, it was just such a good community. Like, we were strangers in an audience of people at a concert, and it just felt so connected. Everybody was got kind of having their arms around each other and singing and, and going hardcore in, and it was just such an amazing night. Um, and Ashley was loving it. We were loving it. It was amazing. About halfway through Ashley's set, I heard my phone go off again. And Katie Offerman, 
who was the girl in the opening act, D. White, she had put my Instagram story and shared it to her Instagram story, the one of me talking about her. And she also shared my tweet on her Instagram story, which, here you go. So at that point, I was halfway through Ashley's set, and I didn't want to say anything or tweet back or be on my phone because I wanted to be present in the moment. So I just kind of ignored it for then. And um, then I, after Ashley's set, she got off stage, obviously. They were chanting her name, which is, again, one of my favorite things is when they leave and, you know, you think the show's over and then they come back on for like an encore song. And it's just, it's so crazy. And everybody was going, Ashley, Ashley, which again, has to be the greatest feeling in the world. I don't know what that's like, but I can only imagine what that is like. And she came back on, she sang an encore song. Again, we were passionately freaking out. She was taking selfies with people in the audience. She was grabbing people's phones and, you know, taking selfies. With the people in the front row and... Um, you know, signing, she signed somebody's sign that they had about Eric Church recognizing her. She was like doing all these cool things, holding people's hands, shaking hands, all that kind of stuff. And again, that's why I love seeing artists when they're not as popular. Ashley is popular, but she's not like a, a Taylor Swift level popular yet. And I love when they're this kind of a level because there's an intimacy that you can have with your fans that you can't have when you have a humongous fan base. It's kind of like a little intimate group of fans and you get to have like a special intimate personal relationship with them and that's why I love discovering new artists so much even though Ashley's not new at all. She's just newly known. She's been doing this for years but um, it's just it was such a cool night again. I don't know how many times I'm going to say that in this video, but it was such a cool night. I unfortunately did not get a picture with her except for this selfie that I took when she was on stage. But it is okay. So yeah, the show was over. Um, I was very upset about it. That post-concert high adrenaline is like still amazing, but it's kind of like also very sad because you realize that it's over. But me and my friend were just kind of standing there talking and, um, you know, we're like, well, is she going to come out? Because we had been creeping on her and like the previous nights before she came out on the dance floor with some of her fans and that kind of stuff. So we kind of just hung around and I noticed that the people from the opening act were standing five yards from me. So, and they said that they were going to do a meet and greet afterwards for anybody. And again, they're an opening act not known at all. Um, as far as I know, I didn't know them at all, but that girl just overpowered me. Like, she, I feel so almost connected with her. Like, there's something there that I am just telling you she's going to be amazing. Katie Offerman, go look her up. Go look up D. White as well. They are going to be something, if not Katie by herself as a solo artist, because she is a singer-songwriter herself, um, then the band, she's, she's just going to be known. I'm, I'm telling you guys this. I have known many artists that I discovered before anybody else or before many people. And I'm telling you, Katie Offerman is going to be someone in country music. Mark my words. It is January 12th, 2019. And I am telling you right now, Katie Offerman is going to be somebody in country music. It might take a couple years, but she's going to be someone eventually in country music. So just watch. But getting back to the story, I saw them standing there and I went over and I said, hey, I said, I'm the one that tweeted you guys earlier. Thank you for tweeting me back. I said, you guys are amazing. I pointed to the girl, which is Katie, and I said, you girl, you rocked it up there, and I really appreciated, you know, getting to witness that. I said, thank you for letting me be a part of you just enjoying yourself. Katie gave me a hug. Um, Dee shook my hand because guys and girls are different with the way they greet people. Um, I shook Dee's hand, I gave Katie a big old hug, and I thanked her so much for everything, for letting me witness that amazing moment, and I asked them for a picture, and I got the picture.
D. White and Katie Offerman and um, it was just incredible. We stood there and talked for a little bit and um, I um, I put the picture on my Instagram story. She also shared that. D shared it. they're just amazing. It's, it was just such a great night. And then we kind of stood around for a little bit more and I got pictures with, um, the lead guitar player and the rhythm guitar player from Ashley's band, which my friend took on her Snapchat. The girl that I met there, she took on her Snapchat and she was supposed to send them to me, but she has not yet. But mark my words, I do have pictures with the little redhead dude that plays bass in Ashley's band. And, um, also one of the Chris's. I think there's two Chris's. I don't know how many Chris's are in her band. She has a lot of Chris's in her band. But um, he had braids on that night and um, I got a picture with him. So did she. We both took pictures with them. And then I stood around for a little bit for about 45 minutes and waited for Ashley to come out because like I said her bandmates were just walking around. They were walking up on stage, off a of stage, you know, walking around the bar. Um, the one guitar player, his mom was in the audience because he was originally from Virginia. So he was standing literally like from me to the camera away from me, just hanging out and talking with us. And I was talking to him about music and all that kind of stuff. It was just very, very chill. Ashley never did come out when I was there, but I did have to leave about 45 minutes after the show actually ended. Um, because I had a three hour drive home. So I ended up leaving and um, I don't know if Ashley ever came out or not. I highly doubt she did because I feel like she just wouldn't have waited that long. Because um, like I said, by the time I left, they had already packed up all their stuff. Um, their whole set was tore down and loaded into a, a bus. And so my guess was they just kind of left after that and went back to the hotel or took off on the bus to the next place they had to go and um yeah so I didn't get to meet Ashley but I did meet her bandmates and got to hang out with them and I did meet the opening act and it was just such a cool night again Katie Offerman if you are watching this thank you for letting me witness um that and also I want to be your new best friend but like I said I eventually left um drove three hours home and so much had happened in like an eight hour span that I couldn't even process it all. So I got home about 2.30, 3 a.m. And I laid there till almost 5 a.m. Just kind of processing everything and kind of just letting myself feel that concert high. There is nothing better, and maybe it's just me, but to me, there is nothing better than that concert adrenaline high. And just, oh, it's so amazing. It's so in my element and I think that's why I make friends at every concert I go to because that's just my element that's where I feel mo most comfortable is when there's music playing at a live event um, at a concert you know whatever you want to call it but that is like where I feel the most me and music is my absolute passion and when you're in a room full of people who also admire the person that's on stage too it just bonds you in some weird way. I don't know. I don't know if any of this is making sense. I just wanted to kind of word vomit all this to you because it was just such an amazing night and I'm so sad that it's over. Um, me and Katie are now kind of talking on Instagram. We're 
basically friends now. So, um, like I said, mark my words, January 12th, 2019, um, Katie Offerman is not very known yet, but she will be, and hopefully I'll be friends and get to watch her grow up and be famous. Um, so she is incredible. Go check her out. Go check out her band, D White, and all the bandmates. Go check out Ashley McBride. If you haven't, her debut album is nominated for a Grammy as well. Um, this is Girl Going Nowhere, the most incredible album ever. It's so freaking good. She is gorgeous, by the way. Ashley is gorgeous in person. Can I just let you guys know? Gorgeous. Um, her tattoos are amazing, too. I love, I just love her so much. She's got, like, such a, a cool personality. She's so down to earth. It was just, it was such a good night. I can't express to you guys how much of a good time I had. Um, but anyways, I'm going to stop rambling now. I just kind of wanted to word vomit something like this at you and just kind of tell you everything that I'm feeling right now and share it with you guys because it was just an amazing night and I, that's what I do. I share my life and I love doing it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, go check out uh, Ashley McBride. Go check out D. White and Ashley Offerman and all the bandmates of D. White's band and Ashley's band and everybody else. Um, it was such a good night. They are all incredible. And on February 10th, I believe, that could be wrong, check out Ashley on the Grammys because this baby right here, see this thing right here, is nominated for a Grammy, her debut album. And she's nominated for a Grammy for it, so hopefully she wins. Um, I will be rooting her on. Um, I covered her song like a year and a half ago. She's incredible. Please go check her out. But go buy tickets. Go check out D White. Go follow them on Instagram. All their stuff will be linked down below. Um, I just want to give them a huge shout out because me and Katie are now friends again, and that that girl's gonna be famous. I'm telling you. Um, and D. White and their band is going to be something huge because they're really, really good. Um, and so is Ashley, but I don't have to tell you that because Ashley's already becoming famous. But, again, I'm rambling. I'm gonna go. Uh, also, finally got a, a diffuser and a mount for my, uh, camera and my ring light. So, you're welcome for the awesome quality, even though I look awful right now. Got that concert hangover. But, again... I'm going to go, I'm rambling, and I will see you guys in my next video. Again, go check them out now, because I said so. Okay, bye guys!